Welcome back again. This is a subsequent class of the previous one. In this lecture we will learn how to import iOS, VIOS, IOU, IOL, and QCOW images in our virtual lab. IOL images refer to the Linux version, and these images are compiled for i386 architecture. IOU refers to the Unix version, and these images are compiled for Spark architecture. The term IOU usually refers to IOL too. We will see different installation methods for each segment image. We will also test each image to confirm whether the images are operational. You need a SFTP server to upload the images in their respective directory. I would recommend you to download WinSCP software from its official website and install it on your laptop or desktop. I will also drop the link in the description box for your reference. You can use that link to download the software WinSCP. It is not a recommended one, but if you are not using any SFTP software for downloading or uploading the files, you can download this. This is absolutely free software, and no registration is required. Let's first download this software, and later on we will upload the images in our virtual lab. In Google search engine, search the keyword WinSCP download. You will see search results with many options. Choose the first or second search option to load the website. It will take you to its official website. On its official website, you will see a download option. Click on the download button to download the WinSCP software. Once the software is downloaded on your laptop or desktop, double-click on an executable file or downloaded file to install the software. By clicking a few buttons like Next, Next, Allow, and Finish, will help you to install the software on your laptop or desktop. Now it's time to arrange Cisco images which we need to upload in our EVNG virtual lab. I have a bunch of images available with me, however, not sure whether you have these images with you. Do not worry, I will leave the Google Drive link in the description box for you. Using the Google Drive link, you can download the images and use them for your lab practice. We are all set with the minimal tools, and now it's time to upload these Cisco images in our EVNG virtual lab. Before uploading these images, I would recommend you to visit website evng.net and read the instructions regarding how to load images in EVNG virtual lab. Also check what images are supported by the simulator. This is very necessary for you to understand what type of images can be loaded in the simulator. Sometimes engineers complain that they are unable to load images in the simulator. Let me tell you, not all the vendor images can be run in the software, and not all the images can be run. You can visit the website www.eve-ng.net for more information. In step 1, turn on EVNG simulator and verify you are able to log in with default login credentials. Step 2, open the WinSCP software and establish a SFTP connection with EVNG Simulator. The default username is root and password is eve. Username and password are in small letters. Once you log in on the EVNG Simulator, browse the path for your local directory where all your Cisco IOL images are available. Also browse the recommended path where you need to load the images. Remember, IOL images must end with the .bin extension. In step 3, move or upload the images from the local directory to remote directory. In step 4, use the PuTTY software and try to get the terminal access for EVNG simulator. It will be a command line session. The login credentials will be the same as you supplied while establishing the SFTP session. In step 5, now it's time to generate a license key for the images loaded. In step 6, I have a Python file created which needs to be executed to generate a license key. Upload the Python file to the home directory and execute this file. It will generate a license key. Let me do this for you. In step 7, now create a text file and copy the license key in the text file. Also load this file on the same path where IOL images are uploaded.
In step 8, execute this command to set the permission for the image loaded. Execute this command at least two or three times. It's time to test the image in the EVNG simulator. Access the virtual lab and create a test lab for testing the devices. Right-click on the home screen and select option nodes. Pick the devices, router and switch, and turn on both the devices. If you see the devices are not turning on, it means you did not follow the procedure explained. Please watch the video again and follow the procedure carefully. Now to get the terminal access for both the devices. Hover the mouse cursor on the device. On your left hand side, down the corner, you will see the port number associated with the simulator IP address. Open a PuTTY software and use the IP address along with the port number to access the device. It is a console connection of the device. That's it. You can create n numbers of topology and test features. Let's import viral images in EVNG simulator and test the images. The process is almost similar, however, there are some points which we need to take care while importing the images. In step 1, turn on EVNG simulator and log in with default login credentials. In step 2, open the WinSCP software and establish a SFTP connection with EVNG simulator. The default username is root and password is eve. Username and password are in small letters. Once you log in on the EVNG simulator, browse the path for your local directory, where all your Cisco viral images are available. Also browse the recommended path, where you need to load the images. Viral has two image formats VMDK and QCOW2. The QCOW2 images are almost ready to use, you just need to create a proper image folder and load the images. The VMDK file needs to be converted to QCOW2 format before loading it in EVNG. I have VMDK images and we need to convert them into QCOW2 format. Let first convert VMDK files into QCOW2 format. In step 3, move or upload the images from the local directory to remote directory. In step 4, use the PuTTY software and try to get the terminal access for EVNG simulator. It will be a command line session. The login credentials will be the same as you supplied while establishing SFTP session.
In step 5. Use the keyword MV to rename the file from original format to VMDK format. In step 6, use the command this to convert the image from VMDK to QCOW2. You must follow the image naming convention guideline while converting the image. Otherwise, the images will not be functional in EVNG Simulator. In step 7, delete the raw images from the directory and fix the permission by using the command. Just follow right folder names and image naming inside folders per our naming table. If you have any concerns or queries, feel free to drop me a comment. I will help you to fix your problem. See you in the next class. Bye.